It was the height of mobilization at the height of the AIDS epidemic. We were in the middle of AIDS. People were dying right and left. And you know, to not grant us just, just the modicum, just the, the smallest amount of, of, of protection, uh, it was just too much. The Pete Wilson veto was like this um, little match that sat down in this pool of kerosene for me. And I think it was like that for a lot of people. And it ignited just a lifetime worth of rage. Nobody was in charge. Nobody said, we are the governors and you will do this. It just happened from the people. The gay men came out of the bars. You know, that was a historical point right there. They came out of the bars and into the streets. The year was 1991. The backdrop was the Reagan-Bush era, 10 years of the AIDS epidemic, Clarence Thomas and Anita Hill, Rodney King and the LAPD. There was a cast of thousands, mostly gay and lesbian, street activists from ACT UP and Queer Nation, checkbook activists from mainstream political groups like Mecla, Angle, and Stonewall Democratic Club, identity activists from social and ethnic groups like League America, Colors United and ULOA, and people who'd never been politically active before. There was a villain, a newly elected Republican governor who had campaigned as a moderate, promising to support gay civil rights legislation, and who rode the rough sea to victory, buoyed by support from a frustrated gay community. There were heroes, but there were no leaders. The stage was set for high drama in Los Angeles, but this time, the drama would unfold not on the sound stages of Hollywood, but in the streets of West Hollywood and beyond. More gays and lesbians were out of the closet, politicized, engaged, and activated than any other time in human history. <laughs> that was the moment that Governor Wilson chose to betray the gay community. There was a differentiation between the suits, if you will, and the streets. The suits were the Mechla folks, and, and, and not just Mechla, but, but folks, uh, professionals who, who played at that level and wore suits and ties to work every day, uh, men and women. And um, the streets were folks from ACT UP. ACT UP was the AIDS Coalition to Unleash Power, and we really did focus on AIDS. ACT UP was angry, and for very good reason. Part of their anger was directed at some parts of the movement which so thoroughly disapproved of them. Coming out of ACT UP, a number of, a number of individuals had uh, created Queer Nation and they were very active, very activist. The character of Queer Nation is, or was, well look, we're, we're, it wasn't even we're gay, it was we're queer. We're in your face, we're not going to assimilate, you know, what do you think of us? We don't care what you think of us. And we're not interested in our place at the table. We're not interested in fitting in and doing political change through the system. We're interested in kicking the system in the shins. And there are no victims in the AIDS epidemic. It did not give an AIDS had come upon us in 1981, 82, 83. This terrible monster, this frightful, unidentified, unknown monster had come among us and was a killer. The AIDS outlook in 91 was, was very mixed. On one hand, there was a lot of depression because it was almost the peak of the number of deaths that were occurring. Um, but there was also a little bit of hope. Uh, AZT had been released and uh, had some hope that it was a true antiviral and we were beginning to, on expanded access, use DDI. And at the time I was diagnosed, I was pregnant. And um, so I got lots of AZT. So, you know, I shared it with everybody and, and I stockpiled it like it was a precious thing. We'd all lost dozens of friends and all that pain and all that anger. And, and it, di it didn't go anywhere. It just sort of people, I had reached the point I think a lot of people had, I just couldn't go to one more funeral. And the world moved on. You know, they didn't notice that, you know, in the city of Los Angeles, we were losing like 15, 20 people a week. You know, and society just kept moving like nothing was happening. So it was pretty devastating. 